Um, I am. This is like one of my favorite projects right now that I've ever done. Um, I'm super excited about this one because I did this one for a CCL class we had um, last last weekend. And um, we do a class every single month. Uh, sometimes it's me and sometimes it's uh, Deb. And um, I've been doing classes lately, so if you haven't um, been to one of our classes, this was my second one. And they are just super fun. And all the girls have fun, and I just, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> so uh, you guys really should um, stop by, check out um, Creating the Crafty Life, and also if you check out uh, my Facebook page and the Creating the Crafty Life fan page on Facebook, um, it's all posted there every month um, when our next class is going to be. And soon we're going to have an actual scheduled date for it starting next month. So um, that way every month it'll be on the same date. But anyway... This is was the project that I did, and I did the majority of it on um, in the class, but because it was such a large altered project to do, I um, I actually did um, a lot of the extra embellishing after the class, and I'll have the class link down below so you can you know watch it and see what it looked like before I started and everything. And what this is is an altered um, double decker matchbook um, um, unit. And, you know, you can use it for whatever you'd like. So, um, what I, I don't have one with me, like a plain one, but it's basically a matchbook, or a matchbox, and, um, I put two of them and I glued them together. So if you can see, there, there's two that are glued together. And then you, you cover it, um, with some paper, and I use some, uh, pattern paper, and I th believe this, um... I'm not sure if this was, it was Kane Company or the or the Paper Studio. I can't remember, but you can sort of see it. It has some uh, script on it. Um, I just I really love this. So um, once I glued them together, um, I just wrapped the paper around. And if you can see at the bottom, there's where they meet. Um, and then I just went crazy with it. And um, because uh, this month is a shabby chic month over at Creating the Crafty Life. Um, I did this in a, a shabby chic um, motif, and I really, really like it. Um, this is the most shabby chic project I ever done, and I love shabby chic. I like vintage, and you know, and I do like holiday stuff or like themed stuff too. But shabby chic is absolutely my favorite, and I always distress stuff whenever I do a project. And I just, I love the way this came out. So um, I started with the um, all the trim. Um, this is the uh, Teardrop Pearl Trim that is available. A lot of these products are available in my shop. So the Teardrop Trim is available. And then this really pretty, like, pale pink. It's not a light pink, it's a pale pink. And um, that's available in the shop. And then this trim that's in the back here, you can't see the whole thing, but it starts right there. And then it has some pearls that go on top of it. And... I'm not sure where I got that from, but it's gorgeous. And then I put some on the top here as well. And then also the pearl trim. And this lace here I got in a rack a very long time ago. It was either a rack or a swap. And I got it a very long time ago. And it was actually um, fairly wide. It wrapped um, all the way around like that. It was very pretty. And so that's kind of what the top of the lace looks like. And then um, I started with this flower arrangement, which I did... Um, I did most of it in the class, and I had this doily that I got in a rack um, probably last year, so I don't remember who it's from, and um, it was just perfect for this project. I just love that. And then I used a large um, gardenia by I Am Roses, and I painted that myself, and then um, this pretty, pretty rose here, and this one here, I got this um, in a in a swap over at CCL, and I can't remember who it's from. It's, um, it was a, oh, what was it? Um, it was an altered cigar box swap. That's what it was. And then, um, I turn it here, and I kind of made it so it draped over. I just really like the way that looked. And then, um, I've got some more, like, little flowers from I Am Roses. I got a wheat leaf spray. Um, that you can get in my shop. And this one here, I believe, is the salmon color. And then I put little rosebuds. And then this flower here is from Iron Roses. And I painted that... I actually painted that with my Perfect Pearls. 
and it's a powder and it's made by a uh, ranger and this is what it's like and it's actually the pearl color and it looks a little pinkish because I think for some reason there's a little bit of pink in the water that's in my paintbrush I have a water brush when I do the little the little powders and so which which match perfectly and then another one of those flowers and then some more of little rose buds and then I added um, some pearls here and then a pearl loop and a little piece of pearl coming out and the pearl trim is the pale pink also available in my shop and then um, I did this clear acrylic butterfly which you can also get in my shop some more of the little rosette or little rosebuds love they're great for just little accents and then this is new to my shop and it's not available yet but it will be very soon and this is just a little dove and I have a, a version of it that's even smaller so if you can see compared to like my hand you know it's already pretty small so super cute and then um, what I did after the class was the sides here and then some of the little extra touches that I had already showed you and so on the sides here um, on this side here I started with um, I did this little one spire and the stamp set is actually right here and the stamp is um, by Heidi Grace and it's called Dreamer and it, it's a really cute stamp set and so I used the Inspire but they got really other cute little words love and wish dream magical and um, imagine so really cute very, you know nice little inspirational words that you put on projects and then um, for um, the, all the flowers on here I for all the flowers that I colored now these pink ones here they came like that but for the gardenia and for these roses here and then all the little flowers like that I used the cotton candy pink um, starburst spray and the a bit of bubbly starburst spray and those are from Lindy Stamp Gang and I really like them and um, for a shabby chic project I didn't want a lot of like the glitter you know the that comes with the spray so I just mix it up just a little bit just to get the color kind of mixed up and then I just dip my brush and then I just painted the tips and then I sprayed it down and it makes it a little bit more shabby chic and not so just um, glittery and then um, once I did that and then I put some these larger rosebuds and I did the perfect pearls on them and then I wanted to, to drape because I just thought that would look really pretty and so I draped some of the um, powder pink um, or pale pink uh, round pearl trim and I kind of draped it to match the flowers here and then I put the, just like a little bunch of flowers there and then for this side here I wanted to drape it too but I didn't want to do a lot on this side because I did so much on the other side so I just tried to make the side a little bit more simple and again I used the flowers and then a little bit of pearl and then I didn't want the back to be completely plain so I also um, draped the pearls here and I just I thought that was really cute for the back side too and then I also put some feet on it these are just like little wood um, knob type things that you can get at um, a lot of your craft stores you can get them at Joann's, Michael's, um, Hobby Lobby and they're really really inexpensive I think I got a pack of like eight or ten for like a dollar forty seven um, at Hobby Lobby and then I just painted them with some um, acrylic paint that I mixed to match um, the project and uh, what I didn't mention is for the drawers I also painted the drawers because they were like a, a white so I painted them like a pale really really pale pink and then I distressed them and I distressed the box too you can see a little bit of the distressing not much because there's a lot of trim on there you can see some right there but I did distress it and I actually distressed it with two I um, went over it with the walnut stain and then I did um, I went even further in with the tattered rose or I guess you could do the tattered rose first and then just do the walnut stain on the edge just to give a little dimension and then on the front here for the knobs um, th um, these were little wood pieces as well and then I added these little mini crystals there you can see the little mini crystals in there and these little mini crystals are available in my shop as well and I alcohol ink these too and I think it was um, I did a little trick on these I actually I don't have like a tattered rose alcohol ink so I like did 
faux alcohol ink, I guess you could say. I have a um, Tattered Rose Distressed Inker. And then I have the alcohol blending solution. So since this had some alcohol in it, I decided just to mix a couple drops of each of them in a bag. And then I stuck the crystals in there. And it actually worked. You can see that it has some color to it. So um, if you don't have alcohol inks, you can always get a bottle of this. And then if you have some type of reinker, you can sort of, you know, do that. Or I guess if you have um, just like... Um, regular like alcohol that you can get from the store like in the um, like medicine section or the pharmacy section or anything like you know isopropyl alcohol or anything um, rubbing alcohol so that might work too but this um, this is what I used and it worked wonderfully so um, I think that's everything um, oh yeah, and I added some paper on the front part here and I distressed it you can see that the edges are all distressed and I, I think that's everything. So I hope you guys like it. And there will be a picture show um, at the end. And you guys have a wonderful day. And thanks so much for stopping by and, and checking out my project. Tell me what you think in the comment section. And um, I'll have all the information and the links for um, the class and for CCL if you want to check it out. We have lots of stuff going on. We've, um, Like I said, we have classes every month. We have swaps. We have, you know, just all kinds of, of fun things going on. So you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.